In this video we look at the facet, I think they pronounce it, electric fuel pump. And this one is a, get to focus, there we go, this one is a, the model or the part number is a 40106. Now these are meant to run at between 4 to 7 psi I believe and that's when they're uh, not pumping, or they are pumping but there's no flow and they run a little bit lower than that when they are free flowing which I think is about three pounds but anyway it's in the specs but the purpose of this video is to actually see and understand how much pressure do you actually get from one of these and to do that we're using a pressure gauge here which the max pressure in inch pounds is what do we got there 15 so we're gonna see what it clocks up to um, so we'll turn on this ignition and we'll see see what happens now this is a carry-on from another video I did on L Bedford with the carburetors running carburetors and electric fuel pumps which doesn't always work that well so we'll pump her up and see so there you go she's pulsing away and it's pulsing between three and about five and a half pounds so if we turn off the key just pulse it on and off we might be able to figure out it's sort of max pressure it's about five nearly five and a half yeah, about five and a half five five pounds per square inch now the reason this is holding pressure on this gauge is because we have a lock-off valve there but a characteristic of the, this particular little facet pump is if I didn't have the lock-off valve there all the pressure would drop away and they return the fuel back down to the tank so they can backflow I think but you can also pull fuel through these facet pumps so you can use a facet pump like this to prime a traditional mechanical fuel pump like this one here this is an, an AC one an English one off of Bedford you can use them to prime these because these will dry out sometimes and they don't suck fuel from the fuel tank very well so you can put the little pump here hit the button prime the bowl cavity in here and your float bowl and then turn it off it pays not to leave it going because it can run at quite a higher pressure than required with some of the old pumps so anyway that is a pressure check on little facet fuel pump what we're going to do now is I'll um, drop the power off the pump and open up the solenoid here and you will see it back flow fuel so you can confirm that they do three free flow the facet pumps do free flow when they're not going so if I turn or I release that solenoid lock off you'll see the fuel backflow or the gauge will drop in pressure and the fuel as the fuel backflows back through the little fuel pump to the tank so there you go Anyway, thanks for watching. I apologise if I've mispronounced the name of the little pump, but there are many ways of pronouncing it depending on where you are in the parts of the world. Okay, I'll see you later. Cheers.